When I want to get my drift on, I hook up with CTG and Prodigy D at South Point Scion. Hey, hey, in the garage again. Uh, working on a trailer today. I want to uh, pull my trailer uh, behind the summit on the uh, urban assault this Saturday night. I've been having a lot of trouble with axles and crap underneath of it, so I just pulled this off. Yeah. <laughs> the axles are bent, the suspension, the springs and stuff are just crapped right out, collapsed. This is like my third go at this and they just, you know, I, I guess I'm just too hard on the trailer. I mean, I drag it everywhere, bash it through everything. It's not like I'm putting a lot of weight on it, but I don't know, for whatever reason, I can't keep this crap underneath of it. It just doesn't work. So, uh, so I decided to try something different after messing around with this for long enough. So here's where I'm at. I mounted a couple pieces of uh, 3 8 Delrin to the side of the trailer on the inside so that it doesn't affect my fender depth and stuff. So it's on the inside, back side of it. And uh, now I've gotten myself a couple carriage bolts. Some carriage bolts to go through, a spacer that's going on them. And then a uh, spacer, washer, then the tire, and then a washer, you know, the wheel on there. So um, no bearings, no nothing, no muss, no fuss. I've simply drilled the hole in the wheel out a little bigger. I don't think it's going to hurt anything. Geez, it'll take forever for anything to wear out, you know. Um, it's just simply going to be more bulletproof. I, I'm going to be able to drag it anywhere, take it anywhere. I'm not going to have to worry about these stupid little axles and, and little wimpy stuff breaking. Look at the size of those quarter inch bolts, man. No more playing around. So, uh, this is my second go. I just had these ones in here, these stainless steel ones. But uh, they were a little bit too short. I wasn't catching enough of the um, plastic in the nylock nut. So I hate to be going downtown or anywhere else for that matter and have uh, lose a friggin' wheel. So I had to pull out these other ones I got that they were, uh, they're not stainless, they're just a, I don't freaking know. They had some ratings listed there, but I'm not familiar, so. Anyway, and a uh, bolt coupler, see? Simple coupler that threads on, so that is going to thread on and hold the bolt, the carriage bolt, suck it in, hold it into my Delrin. I'm going to thread lock it, both of those on. And then from there, I'm just going to get my spacing all right. Couple washers, maybe a nut or whatever it takes to get the tire. I want the wheel to sit exactly where it should on the, uh, you know, in the, the fender. We can't have it sucked in too far. And we don't want to have it hanging out or anything either, right? So. So anyway, I'm going to set this up on a tripod and uh, let's try and get this side put together here. And uh, if I can find the tripod... There it is, there it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I still don't have the truck, the SCX that's supposed to be pulling this trailer. I still don't have back yet from uh, my buddy that's doing all the fabrication for me. Oh, I gotta move a couple things here. The guy who's doing the fabrication on the truck for me, my project Bodacious, it's still stuck in the shop. So uh, what happened was I hooked this trailer up to the summit one time to try it out and it turns out I quite like it behind the summit. The summit's bigger and beefier, pulls it better. This trailer's got a bit of weight to it. I think it's uh, seven pounds or eight pounds or something. That's empty, right? So so the summit definitely has the grunt to pull it. So did the SCX. I pulled it with my uh, red Chevy before it went in the river and stuff. Uh, I just have to, you know, you have to add a little bit of weight and uh, stuff like that to pull with the SCX in order to do hill climbs and stuff like that because if the load in the trailer outweighs the truck you're not getting too far. So anyway, let's hit these. A little bit of thread lock because I don't want to lose anything. I have the uh, stainless ones all sucked in here already but like I say it, uh, 
it was so close, you know, I might have got away with it, but the, uh, like I said, it just wasn't grabbing enough of the nylock, in my opinion, to be um, assured that it wasn't going to uh, come loose. Lose the wheel, that man, lose a wheel, and that would suck on the trail, right? That's not cool at all. Isn't it? Okay, bam, there we go. So now let's see where I'm at here. Oh, so there's one washer. Too tight in. Okay, so because I went with a longer um, bolt now, I have more options. Eh? The other bolt I thought was just barely going to work. So now, because ideally, I think I'd like to kick it out. So that's two washers. Hmm, what's a nut? Try it. I'm thinking maybe a, a nut behind it, and then a washer. Kick it right out to the outside of the fender that way. Or it might be a little bit too much. Oh yeah, let's we'll see. Okay, let's see what that looks like just like so. Oh, it doesn't work because it sucks into the hex. I don't have a hex in here. Wow, that's... That's right to the outside. Thinking as I go along here, you know how it is. Throw that washer right there. I actually want to paint all this stuff black at some point. The wheels and everything, everything flat black. You know? See, with the other bolts, man, there was no bolt sticking through it, just barely catching the nylock. Now, I think this might be sticking out of the fender. Well, no, really, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to let it stick out of the fender well a little bit. I like that better than crammed in there. Awesome, eh? That's totally the end of the trick. Plenty of clearance everywhere. I'm gonna switch out the tires too. Um, this is the 1.9 Rock Locks, and they're just too soft for this application, I guess. I need something hard or something that's going to hold up to, uh, you know, for a trailer, eh? I had something else on there previously, um, flat iron, same idea, they're just too darn soft. So, Lyle gave me some tires that are a little bit harder, I might have to try them out. Okay, 
so that side is done. That's perfect, man. That should be super tough. And uh, you can see how I gain, you know, clearance in the center because now I don't have those axles, two axles going across to hang up on stuff. As you can see how, how bent they were, I hang up on stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, these angles I may have to work a bit more. Uh, it is Delrin, so it's going to slide over stuff, but that looks like it's sticking out a little bit too much. So, obviously, I can cut that back even more, right? This was just my first rough cut on those, so um, I'll probably be taking some more of that off, it looks like, to me. Improve the angle, the approach angle there. Even on the back, I guess, because eh? if you wanted to back up something, you don't want that to get in the way. But anyway, you can definitely see that's going to be a huge improvement, right? definitely more room and solid that's solid man like that's all quarter inch hardware now so anyway on to the next side so the delrin the slab of delrin is mounted with three just standard three mil hardware uh, boom 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 could have cut those bolts down a little bit but oh well uh so then i cut or i drilled two quarter inch holes in here for my carriage bolts to come through Okay, and then on the inside of it, what I've done is I've just taken a 5 16 bit and just mauled out the hole at the top end of it just a little bit because, you know, carriage bolts, you got that square part there. I want that square part to sink in, right? Give it a place to go once I start tightening everything down. So that's what I did there. And then uh, I've got these hex joiners, see? So it's threaded, quarter inch threaded, and obviously it just threads right onto the quarter inch carriage bolts, right? Like nothing. So, what a great spacer, hey? And solid. The problem with a spacer, a spacer, for example, that just slides on, is just the fact, let's see, that one fits this bolt really snug. It was on a smaller one. Um, they just move around a little bit. This spacer, as well as operating as a nut, is, uh, it's just not going to move, right? That's going to be solid. It's going to help pinch everything together tight. And so, It'll be awesome. I'm sure this is going to work. I get a good feeling about this. <laughs> okay, 